Okay, I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to modify a model from Mozilla Hubs. So in this Hubs scene, uh, spoke scene I should say, I've got this 3D terrain that I started with. It's one of the prefab scenes from Mozilla. And what I want to do is add a path to it, uh, sort of a walking, hiking path. And so in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find that model URL uh, so I make sure that I've got the model highlighted in my scene hierarchy and I find that model URL down below I'm going to just copy that path and I'm going to open up a web browser just paste that URL in it's going to prompt me to download it and then I'm going to open it up in Blender Blender is a free program for 3D modeling. It's available on Mac, Windows, and Linux. And I'm just going to go File, Import, Find My File. Uh, it's going to be a GLB. That's the format that Mozilla Hubs slash spoke accepts. And there it is. It's showing an untextured version, but we do have that texture in there. Um, so what I want to do is go to a feature they have called Texture Paint. It's a really cool way to just essentially <clears throat> paint onto this terrain, just like you would paint you know, on a canvas in MS Paint. Uh, and probably that's how this is going to look, as a li little MS Painty, because I'm going to do it pretty quick. But uh, that's OK. We're not going for high fidelity in this. So I'm just going to start. I've selected a color, and I'm just going to start following the contours of this hillside. That's what my path is going to do. And maybe we'll do another path that kind of takes us up onto the hillside there. One of the peaks. And then another shortcut. Now I'm just going to go to File, Export, GLB, GLTF. Uh, GLB is just a binary sort of zipped version of a GLTF file, and it just packages all your textures together and things like that into one file. So I'll give it a name, Hill Path, make sure GLB is selected, and hit Export. And now I'm in Hubs. I'm just going to delete that old terrain there, drag in this new one, and speed up this upload process. Probably I should reduce the poly count on this model, it's pretty heavy, it doesn't necessarily need to be that big. Uh, but now when I drag it in, you can see we've got this path terrain.